Hello and welcome to another exciting breakfast with Unity. I'm your host, Max Moreau, and today we're going to be setting up a little TV screen um, in uh, in game that uh, that displays what another camera is showing. And we're going to do that using render targets, which are now available in for everyone. Render targets for everybody. So we're going to open up um, Breakfast with Unity, which I should have already had open. My apologies. And um, so here we go. So actually, this is the scene that. Oh wait, this isn't the scene. So um, so I'm going to base this on our camera switch thing that we have here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this scene. So I'm just going to Command D or Control D if you're on Windows, and we're going to put it into a new folder. We're going to create a folder. We're going to call it uh, 72 um, Render Target is what I'm going to call it right now. And then we're going to put it into, oh, it's not 72, it's 73, so 73. All right, so, so render targets. So, um, so what we have in this scene is we have a, we have a security camera. And I'm just going to show what this thing did before. Um, so we have, uh, this is one of our earlier things. We had the little laser thing that we were proud of. So um, Now it takes a moment to load because I'm using the debug text here. So as soon as that comes up, it's it's fine. Uh, let me just start this from the start. Um, so, so we have this thing, this supposed to be like a monitor or console, and that's a security camera. And when we, uh, when we hit fire one, it shows our view from the camera, and then we can we can get out of it again. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's our, uh, that's our little example here. So now let's actually make it so that the, uh, what the camera's seeing is actually displayed on the screen. So, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually use two cameras for this. So we already have a camera here that represents the security camera that we switched to, but it's set up to render to the screen. Um, so we're going to actually create another camera that's in the exact same spot. I'm just going to duplicate this. And this is going to be called the, I'm going to call this the um, uh, render target camera. So let's go ahead and off that. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we have this uh, option here called render texture. And if you set this, all it does is instead of rendering to the screen, it renders to that texture. So we're going to go ahead and turn this, this camera on, on, on all the time. And we're going to create a render texture. So create render texture. There it is. New render texture. We're going to call this security camera texture. That's what I'm going to call it. And we'll just leave it 256 by 256 for right now. That's probably pretty good for the size of our screen. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want. And all these things will be fine. We'll just go with that. So we're going to go to our render target camera, and we're going to put this texture on it. So now, you'll see that if we look at the texture, it shows what, this, what the camera would be showing here. Um, and this is now a texture. We can actually use this on an object. So if we go to our, um, where do we put that thing? Not the plane, the quad. So I'm going to rename this uh, screen. And um, and so this one, we have this noise texture on there right now. I'm going to create a new material. We're going to call this um, security camera material. And all we're going to do is we're going to put the security camera texture into the albedo section. And, um, and actually, I'm not going to use the standard shader for this. Um, Actually, let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks in the scene. So, if we hit play, well, we didn't actually attach it. Hold on. So, we want to go to our screen. Let's make it so our screen uses this material. So, if we hit play now, so it's actually very dark. You can't really see it that well. That's the reason that we're going to not use it. So, we don't actually want lighting to affect the screen. Um, as a matter of fact, it might even be best. Actually, I'm curious how it'll look. I want to try something. We're experimenting a little bit. So if I make this, so instead of using that as the albedo, what if I use it as a mission? Interesting. This could potentially be cool. Um, 
So that does look a lot lot cooler there. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm 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 going to do it the simple way. Um, we're just going to do it the way that it works every time. So we're just going to so that that looked a little too bright. We could probably tweak it to look right. And actually, that might be interesting because it would would potentially interact with um, the other objects if they're set to the new standard shader. Uh, but let's just uh, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. We're just going to do unlit texture, so that we just get exactly what the screen is seeing with no distortion. So, so we're going to put the security camera texture on there. So now we will actually see exactly what the camera is seeing in real time on there. And so we're not seeing a whole lot because it's just like this little character here. But you can see that if I'm looking up at this thing, that's where it's at. And you can see that the laser is being rendered in there as well, which is cool. So, so yeah, so it's very easy to set up a render texture. So I want to spend a couple more minutes showing a couple little details about this. Um, so first off, I want to give this camera a little bit of an animation just for the fun of it. Um, I just want to rotate it. Um, wait, it already has a rotation. Is it not doing it? We already have this set up. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it does do a rotation. So why isn't that animating? Security camera. Hmm. I thought we had this animating at one point. Yeah, it shows that it's rotating now. But when we get in game, it doesn't rotate. I just want to see something real quick here. This is such a loop, right? Yeah. Huh. Wonder why that's not working. Well, I'm not going to spend extra time on that because it's not directly related to what we're doing anyway. Uh, cancel. Um, let's not be in record mode. And yeah, it's weird that it's not rotating. Oh, but you can see this working. So the other thing I wanted to go into is aspect ratio. So these textures are always, so if you set a camera to be a render target, it always uses by default a square aspect ratio. So even if we were to stretch this screen out to be something like 16 by 9, um, uh, actually I'm just going to create a new screen, let's just create a screen that's over, I'm just going to create an extra screen. And we'll make it super wide, 2 to 1 width. So you can see that this has just stretched the display. So if we uh, go back in game and hit play, you'll see now that this one is a stretched version of that one. Um, the top is still there, you just can't see it because it's blending into the blue, but yeah, it's uh, so it's not clipping in any way, it's just stretched out. So if you wanted to support a wider screen, what you need to do is you need to set the aspect ratio on the camera. So if we go and create a C sharp script, we're going to call this um, set aspect ratio. This is a very simple script uh, because for whatever reason the aspect ratio is not exposed in uh, in here. So we can't just uh, we can't just affect it there. So we're going to create the set aspect ratio. Also, you could probably extend the editor for cameras so that they always have this, but um, but I'm not going to go over that today. Um, and all we're going to do is, I'm just going to have this set at once. Um, so we're just going to have a public float aspect ratio equals 1.0 f. And we will just in start set, um, um, we're going to do camera, sorry, we're going to do git component camera dot um, aspect, aspect equals aspect ratio. Save. That's all we want. We don't really need the update in here either. Uh, you know, I am actually going to put in an update. Um, public bool um, uh, Real time update equals false. 
So we're going to just change this to slightly private camera. Camera. So in start, we're going to do camera equals get component camera dot. We're not going to do this part. And then void update. Camera dot aspect equals aspect ratio. Save. Notice that we can't just do camera dot aspect initially. We have to actually declare a private variable because these no longer these accessors are no longer built in. So, so now if we go in here and hit play, um, we're not going to have anything different. Let's go ahead and go to the camera, the render target camera. I'm going to put this on there, and I'm going to I forgot to actually use this. So hold on. Um, if real time update, then we do this stuff. This way you can turn it off if you don't need it updating in real time. So, but we want this so that we can show what's happening. So we hit play on this, and I'm just gonna come in and uh, just move my character here. I'd like to lock myself somehow. Let me just, uh, let me just actually move us into a position. Oh, I know what I'll do, sorry. So we'll just move ourselves into a position. I'm gonna do pause. And then on the first person controller, we're gonna disable the mouse look and the mouse look. So now if we go back into our game and on pause, we can't move around, but we can see things. So we can go into our render target camera now and adjust our aspect ratio. And it's not doing anything because we didn't do real time update, there we go. So now we can actually adjust our aspect ratio. So if we want it to be perfect on this left screen, we'd set it to two. Of course, this makes it not perfect on the right. And if we wanted it to be perfect on the right screen, we'd set it to one because it's a square aspect ratio. Um, so this is, this is the way that you can uh, readjust these things so that um, if, you need, uh, if you need to use different aspect ratios. I'm going to do one more quick thing. So uh, sometimes you might want it so that your aspect ratio is actually based on your camera's aspect ratio. So I'm going to make a, diff a slightly different script that does just that. It's very simple. Um, set aspect ratio to target camera to target. Set aspect ratio to target. based on camera, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a little bit wordy, but... So, uh, it's an aspect ratio based on camera. So this one's going to use a public camera target. And do we need anything else on that? So all we need to... Um, I'm going to just make this one baked in private. Camera. So actually, we don't even need that. So all we're going to do is, in start, we're going to set um, um, get component camera dot aspect rate aspect equals target dot aspect. That's all it does. Save. So now, if we place this on our objects. If we place this rather on our um, on our render target camera, and we remove the other script from here, or I'm going to just disable it actually. Um, we're going to put that as the default. Um, so our target in this case is going to be the main camera. So now, if we hit play, the aspect ratio will be 16 by 9 for each of these things. So. You, would, you might need another script to actually resize things the way you want. Um, so if you wanted to like have a screen that always shows the proper aspect ratio based on our main camera, you could do that, but you'd have to write one additional script for scaling these things. I'll leave that to you guys. But, uh, but yeah, so these are just some useful tools if you, need to, if you need to change the aspect ratio, which you probably will on your um, render targets at some point. So this is how you set up render targets. Remember, it's super easy. All you have to do is create a uh, render texture 
put it in as the target texture and then use this texture in a material and it's that simple and you have a camera so um, all the rest of it is icing on the cake so I'm just gonna go ahead and save save project Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire. That's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you had a great time. I had a good time. And, um, yeah, if you can, please donate. Uh, we have a Patreon account, patreon.com slash cookingwithunity. Please support the show. Super awesome if you can. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great one. And I'll catch it tomorrow at the same time. Well, a little bit earlier because I was two minutes late today. Um, uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do some more cool stuff. I haven't actually planned out what we're going to be doing, but it's going to be more Unity 5 goodness. So have a great one.